what's up i'm back so i legit just got a text from my phone um a location hit me up it was like hey look um if you're interested in your services i said bet i'm gonna drive over there it's kind of steep it's like 51 minute drive but i'm gonna take the tolls and make it quicker it turns into like a 30 minute drive so i don't even know if i really want to keep locations as far but what i'm gonna do i might as well establish them as locations Put the machines there you know go there for like six seven months get a log of what is cash flowing probably i'm gonna have to do it for a year and then sell that location off to someone for like three bands you know make my money back within the year so that could be ideal but anyway i pop the color we can't be doing that so yeah you see i got my polo on so i'm gonna go over there i'm gonna scout out the location first this time and then find machines for it so i might take you through the whole process on how i look for machines and see what machines are viable to buy at a good price point that's worth it there's no warehouses in my area well that i am cognizant of so i mean you could go out probably reach out to private sellers might have to do a little drive might have to go out the city but if it's at a price point that it's worth it then we can go ahead and purchase them all right let's go for a ride all right so i'm heading over to the location kind of steep but you gotta do what you gotta do right and then so i got my binder here um, so i have my agreement here with my information is covered by the card and then my binder just you know gives basic information about what i do and stuff of that nature you see here this man really driving with his knee and recording. <laughs> bada boom, bada boom. If you want this, man, hit me up. Probably send it to you. Probably might sell it. But yeah. Tune in with y'all when I get over there. Hey, bet. So I got some location. Got a little mask. Morgan and Morgan sent me a mask. Appreciate them. You can see that? It's like a mountain right there. The closest thing you get to a mountain here. In Florida. It's crazy, not no mountain. It's a hill. I'm joking, I said mountain. But anyways, I'm here at the location. It seems to me like I see the employees over there. I know it's hot. I'm about to bless them with my services. Get them a cool, refreshing drink. Stuff all our nature and the snacks. So man, you gotta remember you doing a service for them, you know? It's just not for your own benefit. Man. You always gotta go out and see how you can be of value to other people. And there's a quote I read, to get the things that you want, you gotta help people get the things that they want. So, I wanna place my vending machines and they want the conveniency of having snacks and drinks close to them, you know? So, that's where I come in. We hope each other bring value. And off of that, get a little bit of monetary value. So once I find the interest to this place, Keep y'all posted? I think it's over here. But let me see. Nat, how are you doing today? Yeah, so where you're interested in the service, correct? Right? Uh, hang on. I'm only trying to solve this. Uh, what would you say? You're interested in the service, correct? Right? I, I, I'm just getting information. So what, okay. what kind of, what do you offer? Okay, services? so I'll show you here in my binder. All right, so I had to stop the video because it would have been hard to record and show her the binder. But well, all I did was I just opened up the binder, showed her what we did. I said, these are the services that we provide, maintained by us and everything. So guys, get out there, get a binder, look professional. And she was sold on that. And she, you heard how she said, I'm just looking at information. And she got the information and started talking about where to place the machines. So. So we're at it. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Um, you don't want it to block that door, right? No. Okay. Right. No, that's, that's a bathroom. So. Mm -hmm. so, the thing with the combination machine, I can do it, but it doesn't store as much. So, okay. on me, I have to keep coming back on more than I usually have to. So, I, if we could do a combination, but usually, if you, you said you had 60 employees, correct? Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's gonna empty out fast. Yeah. So, um, I would, I would recommend having the drink and the snack. It will both fit here, and it'll probably empty right here. You can wait for this door to open, and then that way, 
you'll have more um i won't have to come and service it like all the time yeah, yeah. but i'm always trying to work in what works for you so well, let me see what Okay. 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 So when are you looking to get it placed? When are you looking to get them placed? As soon as possible. Okay. Yeah, and you have one here, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the place you're looking to put. Yeah, but if we have to do two, we'll have to we'll have to put it somewhere else. Okay. So that's why I'm trying to. Mhm. Mm to For sure. Actually, maybe not. Maybe uniforms there or here. Mhm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And so. Um, so yeah, but we could go ahead and do the two, mm -hmm. and, and that, and then like, what happens if like, it's not being used as much as we thought it would, would you? Then? Yeah, we'll probably downgrade to the combo machine. Then we would downgrade it. Yeah. Did you say you had 60 employees, so they'd be... Yeah. So we're like, like, during the day, like, they're here first thing in the morning, and then they're here in the afternoon, but during the day, there's like 10 of us here, mm -hmm. which I, I would use it yeah. every day, probably. Mm -hmm. So, like in the afternoon, they they use it in the mornings. Um, the majority of our employees are out. Okay. Um, okay. So that's as long as it's convenient, I see they probably gonna get hot and then we'll come over here, pop yeah. a drink and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. it'd be pretty convenient. Then we, have, we did have a vending uh, machine here before, mm -hmm. but they wouldn't come out and service. They would. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, boy. So, they said ASAP. So, I need to go get these machines. So, you can see here. Let's look at our own cars over there. And them boys over there working. Need to get them a drink, man. Them boys are going to be tired, you know? So, she was talking about moving this stuff. So we're gonna place it here. I really don't see that. I guess in the outlet somewhere over there. I don't know. So we won't figure it out. Oh, I think it's. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, it's right here. So I'm guessing this is an icebox machine. So, yeah. Let's get it. So she just um, left to get on the phone. I'll show y'all around here a little bit. So this is like a grass cutting company. So they go out and they service people's yards and stuff like that. And they come back. So she said like 10 people is here on the regular in the office. And then the employees, they go out, cut the grass, come back over here with the machinery and then that. So we're gonna see how that goes for sure. So I'll hit y'all up, keep y'all posted. Just like that, straight like that. Another location, man. Woo! Feeling good. Now it's time to get these machines. I need machines ASAP. So I'm gonna make some calls. Try to get some machines, bro. Um, talk to my boy, get some funding. And then we're gonna go crazy. So whoo. Alright. So yeah, I gotta count for the moving fees and all that stuff. Whew. But hey, we did it. Second location in the bag. Yes, sir. Whoo mask is hot bro second location in the bag i'm about to go home um do some machine searching and then see if i take y'all along with me if i find i found one good price but at Poinciana. i don't even know if it's worth driving all the way over there but i'm gonna see i'm gonna call up a couple people and then we're gonna get some machines in there um if god's willing by the end of the week or early next week all glory to God for helping me secure another one. So, hey, if you watching this and you want to get into it, bro, 
commit all your plans to the Lord, you will get it done. You can't fail. You just gotta be out there and you hustle. And it's all about consistency and putting that energy. Because once you build that momentum, once you get that train to flow, start moving, because you got you gotta turn the gears. Slow start to get that bit to start moving. Then as soon as you get it, consistency and that momentum gonna start flying. That's when you're gonna see stuff moving. But it's gonna take a lot of work and effort of not seeing stuff move, you know? So you're gonna put in effort, you're not gonna see nothing, but just know it's still working. You just don't see it, keep putting that work. So I am to you y'all probably gonna put more videos of me finding the machine. So keep y'all posted.